Gorson, what's going on, man? This is Mark Kane, the world's strongest man. I heard you're a, a big time gamer. Uh, you like the uh, WWE Champions game. Appreciate you playing the game and using me. Man, all I can say is win. 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 Hello, champions. It's time for another Forgotten Gem, a.k.a. An uncommonly used common guy. This time it is going to be Santa Mark Henry. The reason I'm saying Santa Mark Henry is because, well, I got the Santa gear and I can't really show Mark Henry without the gear because you can't unquip the benefit from the gear. So we'll have to show him with the gear. And the gear is very, very powerful for Mark Henry. It is basically... Move that generate botch gems will create 40 botch gems. Very strong gear. <laughs> so the first move set we'll have a look at is the red black black. It is the world's strongest splash 15 MP red move. Finisher deals 65.4k damage and make eight random gems into botch gems and pin the opponent. In this case, it's gonna make 48, not eight, 48. So pretty much the old board except one gem is gonna be botch gems because it's seven by seven, seven times seven is 49. So the corner slingshot splash is eight MP black move, deals 27.4K damage and makes six random blue gems into red gems and a fall away slam, 10 MP black move, deal 21.5k damage, and choose 4 gems to make it into red gems. The trainers for that are going to be Bray Wyatt to start with more black, and Big John Stud to create more red. Now for those of you wondering, is he still good without uh, the gear? Well, yeah it is, because most of the time, you can very well end the match before you even get to the finisher. Just with that choose move, it's pretty powerful right there. But the finisher itself, even without the botch boost, is kind of powerful too. So, I mean, he was already pretty good at 4-star without the gear. With the gear, he's definitely very good. Uh, coaches, I got... Uh, Lita here to create one extra red and also 5% increased damage on those red gems and uh, X pack to eight uh, to help refill well not necessarily refill but get one extra red the the main problem he, he can have is uh, he doesn't recycle so if you don't go on the first run you might want to make sure that when you place those uh, choose red you try to make those black like connect as well to help you out technically you're probably better off uh using elias than x pack or just both of them because i'm guessing most people won't have lita probably so you you might want to use both x pack and elias instead all right so let's do this versus set rollins Now there is the perks right now. I won't do like I used to, where I, like I play a fake turn in just in case we don't. Uh, there wasn't perks. I mean, you guys know by now. There's always perks on. If you don't use a perk, well, just guess it's gonna take you one extra turn to get the MP. It's just easier to not care for the perks. <laughs> All right, so we'll use that because we don't have a black match. Okay. All right. So now we got a black match. That was not a great first turn. Actually, not a great two first turns. All right, so we'll use another one of those. That'll fill the red I needed. Unfortunately, it's going to end my turn as well. All right, so it basically took us two extra turns to get to the point where we needed to be. Now we're going to do the finisher. That filled up 
quite a lot of the board. <laughs> and he could not get out of it because he didn't do any damage thanks to those botch gems. So that's how it works. <laughs> so obviously it works really, really well. All right, so we're going to see a variation of that same spec, but we're going to switch up a move. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Santa. Well, Merry Christmas. Well, look who we have here. All right, second spec for Mark Henry is pretty much the same thing except we're switching the first black which was the random uh, make red we're going to switch it for the red submission which is a 14 mp red move submission place three submission gems and do 12,000 damage for five turns all submission gems are on the gem board I don't like this one as much. It does give you a little versatility, versatility <laughs> with the uh, submission. The problem is it is a very expensive at 14 MP submission and it still doesn't help you reload that black. And I mean, it, it, the other black, at least if you don't get your black match early on, you can still get those random reds on the board. So I don't like this one as much, but it does work in pretty similar fashion. You just need that black match. All right, so we do have a black match. All right. Now, I'm not going to try to get some black because anyway, that's not going to happen with the way the board is set up. Actually, it possibly could. No, it, it won't happen. So we'll just go for a bunch of red. Should cover all of it. Now, normally I could finish the match right there with the finisher, but if you didn't have the gear, you would be unlikely to finish the match with uh, with the finisher, and you'd be much better off using that submission right now. That will prevent him from doing his moves on his turn. It is a five uh, five uh, turn submission, like right of the bat you don't need any trainers to last that long so that drains the hell out of his mp oh he managed to get rid of all of them all right now we're gonna get out of that and now we're gonna use the finisher that's gonna do half of his hp plus a bunch of botch gems pretty much filled the whole board except one and he couldn't get out of it All right Let's see if we can come up with something else. Cause that's what Santa does. <laughs> 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 All right, final move set is basically an hybrid of both set we just saw. It is going to be the red two and both black. So we're not using the finisher with all those botch gems. So this is definitely one that you can go for if you don't have the gear. It is the bear hog submission, the corner slingshot splash and the fall away slam. Uh, using this, you're definitely better off using Elias over X pack as a coach or again, just use both. Uh, let's do this. We're going to go again versus set. I 
Now this setup is usually uh, slower because you don't really have anything to finish strong other than the choose move basically that will do a lot of damage. All right, so I do have my move ready, although I want to play safe and I get the black, although there was like this that I completely missed and he did not. I'll pay for that. <laughs> All right, so let's use the random first. All right, now we'll use that. Um, this will make those collapse, so I'll get some black here. Can't really get black from anywhere else. Let's put those here and those. Perfect, that refilled a good chunk of my black. Also did 230k damage. And we actually even won the match right away. <laughs> so had we not win the match, we refilled that black and we add the submission ready that would have prevented him his uh, next turn. So as I said, the biggest damage for Mark Henry is his choose move. It is also why he is only viable as a character and actually he's more than viable. He is only a great character starting at four star. At three star, he sucks. There's nothing that works really well for him. He's like under average, but at four star, he is really good because it's at four star that he gets that second lag that is the choose move. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for Mark Henry. Again, if you have the gear that makes him a really big beast, <laughs> really, but even without the gear, as you see, like he is really good just with that choose move. So thanks for watching guys. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff, have any questions, ask them. And if you like the video, leave a like and share. See you guys, Gia. ciao.